What is the Bible? The Bible is claims to be the inspired, infallible, inherent, sufficient Word of God. The Bible has been written by God using fallible man to write an infallible book. It is simple as that. Uh, it is 66 books written by 40 different authors over a period of 1,600 years. Those authors never met one another. Abraham never met Moses. Moses never met Isaiah. Isaiah never met Isaiah or David. Yet they have the same story. Jesus, coming on the earth, redeem us from our sins. Sins. Sin, sin, sin. What is the problem with sin? Why sin is really, really bad, okay? Listen to this carefully. Let me give you an example. If I lie to my little sister, nothing will happen to me. If I lie to my boss at work, I'll probably get suspended or get fired, I don't know. If I lie to Justin Trudeau and I don't pay, I don't pay my taxes, I'll probably get fined or go to jail. You see, I've done the same crime, but the level of punishment increased because it's against whom I have committed this crime. But when you guide to the God of eternity, the one who spoke the, the, the creation to the world, the one above all ruler judges, it deserves an eternal punishment. It deserves condemnation. So my plea with you is this. Know thyself. Know who you are. All have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. God loved you so much and he demonstrated his love for you by sending his son to die for your sins. In him was life and that life was the light to all mankind. John 3.17 says this. This is the verdict. The verdict about what? The human race. That light has come into the world. Talking about Jesus. But people love darkness instead of light. Why? Because their deeds were evil. That's the problem. Know thyself and know that you're, 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 you're a sinner. You're a wretched sinner. You can't. You can't. You, you, you're not living the way created you to live. Imagine this, okay? This is your, your lifetime right now. This is your lifetime right now. Chris Chad made a very great example on that. Imagine, imagine this is your lifetime right now. The Bible says, once you die, it is appointed to men, and once you die, then the judgment. So, this is your lifetime right now. So many people focus about uh, how they live their life. Oh, I'm going to travel this, there. I'm going to get an education to be that, and then I die. You know, that's, that's most people. But after you die, then you come to the realm of eternal. Then there's this, 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 there's this. And the way you live your, your, your life at this moment right here, God gives you the chance. He gives you the moment. And it's going to determine where you're going to spend eternity. And every day, God is screaming at you with his creation so that you are without excuse. You know that he exists. Romans 1. But you, you, we, our hearts is wicked above all things. So you need a heart transplant. For free through Jesus Christ because he said it himself I am the way the truth and the life no one comes when he says no one that includes all the other religions Muhammad Buddha no one comes to the Father but by me come to Jesus he is the ark of your salvation remember Noah's ark you know the story God was fed up with men's sins what did he do he threatened to destroy people with water so we know as we see God's judgment and anger at sin, and He will judge it and punish it. But we all we know as we all see God's mercy, grace, and loving kindness because He created an ark, He created a boat, and He rescued. You tell me, eight people. Now, if you fast forward to First Peter three in the New Testament, we're told that the water represents judgment, and Jesus represents the ark of our salvation, and He will save you from the other most. He will save you from the wrath that is to come. Okay, if you if you put your faith in him, you believe in him, you trust him. Furthermore, there was just one door that ark that was shut by God Himself. Why just one door for such a big boat? Is because Jesus said, John ten nine, I am the I am the door. If anyone enters the door, he will be saved. All right. So please, my plea with you is this: you know, the moment you believe in Christ, everything will become new. Everything will make sense. When I what I mean by that is that. 
everything will point to God. Like when you will see the sky, it will be like, wow, what a glorified God. What what a great and, and powerful God that is. When you will look at the simple things like a little dog, wow, what a beautiful design creature that is. Everything will point out to the creator of the universe. And that's why the Bible says you will become a new creation in Christ. And the old is past and the new has come. Come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy burdened, and he will give you rest.